There we go. Banded Nordic curls. I'm gonna see if I can do them as many reps as possible with all my hands. Might be zero. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Building Dad Bod 2.0. Hitting the legs and shoulders today, Nordic curls, box squats. But before I drag my beard on the floor, I got to do a little vacuum job here. Um, then we're going to hit some hip flexors, reverse squats. Uh, got to get the hips ready. Working really hard to strengthen up the hip flexors, making a massive difference on my squat depth. So we're doing drop sets. Pick a weight, do as many reps as I can, drop at 10 pounds, as many reps as I can again, hitting three sets. Then we're doing some banded hip traction. Um, after these, hips are ready to go, ready to hit some SSB box squats. So this week, we've gone up uh, five pounds. So last week was my first week doing these in a while with the safety squat bar. Did 200 pounds plus 50 pounds in chains and got, uh, I think I got... Five reps, five reps, three reps. So this week, um, wanted to do better for sure. Uh, 205 and managed to nail three sets of eight. Um, so a big improvement over last week. Um, I think a lot of it was just um, hadn't done this movement pattern for a while. My core was feeling it hard last week. So the body's adapting a bit this week. Um, did a good ab roller session in the middle of the week as well. Um, got the knee sleeves on, um, went and hit a baseball with my wife, um, hitting, running in the outfield, catching some balls. Um, so my knees were feeling a little inflamed. So we got the knee sleeves on. They maybe gave, gave me a little boost as well. Um, but the big thing last week, my core was the limiting factor. This week it wasn't, uh, which was nice. Um, after that, three sets of eight. Took the chains off 205, just did as many reps as possible. So last week, 200 pounds, I hit seven reps. Uh, this week, blew that out of the water. Almost managed to double my reps from last week. Um, so really happy with how this workout started off, especially considering the, the fact the knees were feeling a little inflamed. Um, 45 years old, it's just stuff you gotta deal with. It's funny how it goes sometimes, though. Um, your body's kind of telling you it's going to be a shitty workout, but uh, your mind's telling you you got to crush it anyway. And those are the times you just got to put your head down, put in the work, hope for the best. It's just a lot about mindset. Um, fighting through the fatigue, um, fighting through the inflammation. And uh, by the end of the workout, um, I was actually feeling really, really good. Um, so, yeah, super happy. Uh, managed to hit 13 reps uh, there, so massive improvement over last week. Hopefully next week will be even better. The plan is just to keep adding five pounds per week and take it week by week. All right, next up we're doing some Nordic hamstring curls. So trying to go this week with a band rather than uh, having to push off so much with my hands like I did last week. Managed to get the first rep there, no hands. Um, using the lightest band that I have. Um, second rep, couldn't control it down, but just trying to use minimal hand uh, assist. And uh, definitely felt it more this week with the, um, with the light band with minimal hand assist. Both ways were effective for sure, um, but I could hold more tension in my hamstrings doing it this way. Really control it on the way down, a little bit of a push on the way back up but i don't have to push as hard on the way up just that little bit to get going off the start and then uh, just pulling hard with the hamstrings um you've never done nordic curls there's definitely a reason why not a lot of people do them they are pure torture um they're the next step up from doing uh glute ham raises on the old ghd um that is an amazing exercise as well. Um, started off in the GHD using a band for assistance. Um, got to the point recently where I was actually holding um, 15 pound dumbbells in each hand when doing it. Um, so it was just, it was time to move on to Nordic curls. Um, so obviously now it's like, kind of like you're, you're a beginner again, um, starting over with the bands, but 
but uh, I'm confident because I was able to do it with the GHD that I'll be able to get to the point of not having to use bands again here either. Uh, but even with the bands, glutes, the hamstrings are absolutely on fire. Um, so that was set one, did three sets total. All right, so I was wondering what was harder, using a band for assistance or using no band, just using hands. If you pick a light enough band, definitely using a band is harder. Band with as little hands as possible. Uh, ideally, if I can get up to doing about 10 reps, uh, three sets of 10 with the band. We'll start over without the band and do as many reps as possible, then add the band back in. But Nordic curls are tough, got a long way to go, but put in the work, we'll get there. All right, next up we got Bulgarian split squats. So we're trying to do a bilateral quad exercise, bilateral um, posterior chain exercise, then hit uh, some one-legged movements unilateral. Um, so hit the Bulgarian split squats, SSB, hold on to the squat rack with one hand for balance because my balance sucks. Um, did these for three sets of eight reps, just starting off light. Um, whatever that is, 113 pounds. Um, build up from there. Um, big thing is just uh, getting the balance down on these and then after that uh, did some single leg landmine RDLs uh, I really like this exercise get a really good stretch in the glutes and the hamstring um, and this one I don't really have to worry about balance because I can just lean into the landmine so I uh, just was doing 88 pounds plus whatever the bar in the landmine weighs um, 44 pound bar but I don't know what uh, what kind of weight I'm feeling out at the end of it. Um, but absolutely love this exercise. Really destroys the posterior chain. Um, so that was it for legs in this gym. Um, finished off with some uh, leg press later on, but first hitting some shoulders in here. So shoulders are really simple workout tonight, not a ton of volume. Uh, three sets of overhead dumbbell press with the mad spotters as always um, Really like the mad spotters uh, especially for um, incline and um, Overhead press allow me to start them really easy with my back set in a really nice pressing position um, So was doing uh, just 70s here I um, I did three sets of I think I did eight, eight, and then seven. Um, so we'll keep building up from there. Then, of course, the usual, hitting some rear delts and some side delts. Won't show you all these because we've seen them a million times. I'll just say, as always, if you're pressing a lot, make sure you're getting lots of side delt, rear delt volume. All right, after shoulders, the finisher was some leg press. I have no idea how much weight I was doing here. I think it was right around 420 pounds for sets of 10. Great way to finish off both the quads and the posterior chain. Um, one thing I, I, I really like this leg press hack squat combo, but the one kind of thing that not, it, it could be better is that just the foot plate on the leg press, you can't go super wide on it and go decently wide about just slightly more than shoulder width, but that's about it. Um, I'd like to have a little more options, but uh, kind of like a fairly narrow foot placement here. About the same width as where I deadlift from. I'm hoping these will help with my power off the floor on deadlift. That's it for the workout. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.